In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about three things to avoid when launching an online course. Avoiding these three things will make online course creation and launch easier and more successful. Let's get started. The first thing to avoid when launching an online course is making the course too broad. Many new course creators make their course topics very broad in order to make sure that they have enough information for their online course. Though it's true that you don't want to narrow your topic so much that it is impossible to create an entire course about it, you also don't want it too broad that you feel overwhelmed by all the information you find. If you choose a topic that is too broad, you will find a lot of information that is interesting but not directly related to the learning outcomes. To make sure that your course topic is appropriate, choose a broad category. Then, select a specific topic within that category. After that, focus solely on the specific topic and cater it to your learning outcomes. The second thing to avoid when launching an online course is failing to make an email list. Making an email list is one of the most effective ways of marketing and selling your online course. If you fail to make an email list, do not expect to have a lot of viewers. So make sure that you create an email list of potential customers before selling your online course. As the course launch approaches, email your email list to update them on prices and release dates. Email them on a consistent schedule in order to remind them about the course and engage them with course content. Though you may feel like a pest doing this, it is the number one way to attract and get customers for your online course. Additionally, do research on effective email marketing techniques. Have catchy and enticing subject lines. Use correct grammar and write in a tone that reflects your course content. Also, make sure to email crucial information about the course, such as login information and learning objectives. Finally, the third thing to avoid when launching your online course is not listening to feedback. Like many other projects, you probably find your online course launch to be like a baby. It is yours and you are proud of it. This is completely natural and normal and you should feel this way about your online course, but you should not let this cause you to ignore good feedback. Unsatisfied students are a great way to learn how you can improve your courses. Listen to what students have to tell you and adjust your future courses based on their comments. As you continue to learn from your feedback, your courses will get better and better, which will build your reputation as a course creator and attract more customers. So do not get offended whenever you hear negative feedback. Instead, communicate with that person in a respectful and engaging way to let them know that they are heard. Then, continue to improve upon your courses so that the complaint does not reoccur. To wrap up, you should avoid making the topic too broad, failing to create an email list, and not listening to feedback. If you avoid these three things, your online course launch will go much smoother and be more successful. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.